gives it the impression it's ready to go or even moving while standing still. The proportions are incredibly well balanced. It's also the first look at this stunning gun blue mica colour, which gives a sense of metallic toughness, particularly as we look at the side of the vehicle in the sculpted door design. The chrome from the front grille extends through the wing mirror and the door handles, forming a distinctive unbroken centre line that flows from front to rear, forming a reflection of the flared side panels. The resulting design speaks of toughness and movement, and its bold and powerful form lends a presence befitting of a pickup truck, while delivering Kodo's design expression of simplicity and dynamic motion. Finally, from the side, we've got a new chunky alloy wheel design. This is an 18-inch spoke wheel that expresses the power, depth and strength to support BT50. The two-tone design, which uses black to highlight the chrome and help the wheel better visually fill the wheel arches. It looks eager to start its journey. Well, I think we're all eager to start the journey with it, I was thinking. Well, there's not too long to wait now until customers will be able to get their hands on it. We've got a progressive front end packing a tough and capable engine that can produce 140 kilowatts and 450 newton meters of torque. And we have a rear tray that's got ample room for work and play. As we know, many customers require one ton plus payload. So we've made sure that's what BT50 can offer as an absolute minimum. Well, it does look like a sizable tray. I think I'd get all my stuff and the family dog in there. You probably could, maybe even a couple of dogs. The tray is sizable and this one is a dual cap, so traditionally the smaller tray of the range. At the back, the key design point is the tailgate is shaped to flow towards the Mazda badging to create a continuity of movement from front to rear. We also have cross car line badging, again, underlying BT50's position in the range and relationship with the other Mazdas. A key to many customers globally is towing, and we can confirm BT50 will have a three and a half ton towing capability. But regarding all of the technical details, such as tow ball weights and other specifics, we'll have to wait until its launch later in the year. Still, it's good to know if I ever do buy my dream boat, I'll be able to tow it with a BT50. It's a fantastic exterior. I'm stunned at how seamless that sleek and bold Mazda design philosophy has managed to translate to a pickup truck. Finesh, shall we take a look inside? Absolutely. As Mazda customers and fans already know, the interior is another area of strength for us and one that pays particular attention to human-centric design. When designing everything from seats to steering wheel, the Mazda design team worked very hard to ensure drivers feel connected to their vehicle and as comfortable as they can be. Mazda calls it Jimba Itai, which translates to horse and rider as one. And that's exactly what Mazda BT50 drivers will experience. So in BT50, that means front seats with a human-centric design and structure that wraps around the body, providing maximum support, especially when driving off-road. They're then finished in soft but durable perforated leather to enhance the premium feel. You'll notice Kodo design has made its way in there too, as the door moulding wraps around the dash area, interconnected where the door meets the vehicle. The same as in the recently released CX-30. But in BT50, the team has made careful consideration into ensuring this is a tougher interior design with a thicker dashboard and solid mass of the air conditioning louver bezels that build on that sense of pickup truck power. That brings you to the huge nine inch high definition center console display. With many of our vehicles, we operate Mazda Connect and that uses the rotary dial system. But for BT50, due to the usage of customers at work and off-road, we've opted for a touch screen. Coming down from the center display, we have a clean HVAC control area and the transmission and center armrest. Again, you'll see similarities between this and other Mazdas, as the team has been careful to inject some of the Mazda premium feel into BT50. Just because drivers are going off-road and working in a pickup truck, it doesn't mean they can't be comfortable. Plus, we know a lot of people enjoy road tripping in them with caravans and tow, so making a comfortable cabin area was important. Finally, we get to the steering wheel, which is chunky and 